Hello and welcome to my photography studio here in London. I'm Roy Lewis, photographer. And today I'm going to talk about a sitting I had in June of this year with former Prime Minister David Cameron. Now, of course, the key to this portrait sitting was not to mention the B word. Brexit has left Britain in very uncertain times and photographing such a modern historical figure as David Cameron was indeed a challenge. My plan was to capture David as a meditative statesman and I began to do some research and create a mood board for the sitting. In preparation for the portrait sitting, I had looked at other photographers' work and I couldn't seem to find one that really stood out. To me, was David someone who was a difficult sitter or was he an easy sitter? Looking at these portraits, I could see he must be a difficult sitter because I couldn't really find anything striking. I looked at photographers such as Josef Karsch, who created many, many portraits of politicians in the 20th century. But my main inspiration came from the Scottish realist Sir James Guthrie. Sir James Guthrie was regarded as the painter of Scottish realism. After the First World War, he painted many of the statesmen and politicians who were engaged in the conflict. Sir James Guthrie's portraits had this wonderful complex idea of meditation. These politicians looking back through their careers at a very challenging time in history. To me, I always rely on my old favourite, the history portrait, capturing the sitter as a neutral object, a static object in history. No good, no bad, no joy, no happiness, just this figure in history. With my mood board ready, the day of the sitting arrived. We made our way to David's office and set up for the session. Accompanying me, my wife Alexandra, who assists me on high profile portrait sittings, and the wonderful makeup artist Alice Boxall Knowles, who styled David's hair and makeup for the session. Looking at the inspirational material, David was very pleased to create this meditative statesman, this politician in history. David arrived and I explained what I wanted from the sitting, this meditative statesman. Looking at my inspirational material from Sir James Guthrie, David was pleased and we began with the portrait sitting. Working through several changes and lighting setups, I was very, very pleased with the final result. In the end, I opted for a dark backdrop, black backdrop, which I made a sort of shadowy shade of blue, which worked quite well for the sitting. It contrasted his suit and clothing very, very well. What's important is to break the ice with your sitters, to try and create a decorum or conversation. With Prime Ministers, I've only photographed two in my career, David being the second. I always ask three interesting questions. The first, what's the most interesting place you visited? David responded, Libya. Uh, just after Gaddafi, it was a whole new world after the Arab Spring. The second, the most interesting person you've met? And David responded with Barack Obama. The third, the most interesting gift you have received. Uh, David responded a barbecue from Barack Obama, which he still uses. Equipment wise, I prefer the Profoto Air TTL kits. They are wonderful, they are portable, and they enable me to travel across the Atlantic or around London very easily, fitting the kit in just a small case. Camera wise, I always opt for medium format using the Phase 1 IQ and Leaf Credo back. In truth, David was a delightful sitter, not difficult at all. I was very happy with the results. These images really reflect the meditative statesman. David looking back upon his career, David looking very inquisitive into the camera, and again capturing this really neutral portrait of a statesman in a challenging time. Portraits to me are an historical source. Being a photographer who's been acquired by the National Portrait Gallery has indeed been an honor. Pictures like those of David Cameron, which I capture, I like to be regarded as historical sources, sources that people are going to look at in 10 years and 20 or even 100 years to see what this person was like, what they look like, and create an accurate representation of the figure. The sitting is one of my favorite sittings of this year. Capturing a person in history is what I got into photography for, the ability to create a portrait which reflects an historical figure in the modern period. Nothing is too complex on these sittings. They are simple and simple lighting, simple technique, simple direction. If you look at any picture in art, the most perfect depictions are just simplistic and they create an air of simplicity about them. With art's inspiration, I find myself following in the footsteps of James Guthrie and many other artists who've created political portraits. This session with David Cameron was indeed one to remember and one of the most worthwhile of my career. Thank you for listening and please leave some comments and feedback about this post. If you'd like to hear more, please subscribe and uh, if you'd like to get in touch, my website details are below. Thanks for listening.